All oh, right, my vegan burger. What we have here is a cup and a half of grated zucchini squash or courgette. We have a cup and a half of grated carrot. We have half a cup of finely chopped spring onions, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, and a mixture, a spice mixture, which is made up of one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin or jeera, one teaspoon of coriander or dania, and one teaspoon of these little beauties, ajwain seeds. Ajwain seeds. Um, ajwain seeds are the seed of a primitive uh, carrot type, uh, taproot carrot type uh, vegetable and they go exceptionally well with anything in which you've got a taproot, for instance carrot or parsnip, that sort of thing, or even rutabaga. So there we go, um, that's all ground up now, but the first thing we want to do is get some of the moisture extracted from the courgette and the carrot, and the way we do that is with salt. So I need to transfer all this into a bowl uh, and then uh, assault it. Okay, uh, at this point we don't need the spring onions or the spice mix in and the reason why will become apparent. Now what I want to do with that is get into it about, around about a teaspoon of salt. And don't worry about the salt content because most of that salt in here will drain off and you'll see that in a second. So there you go. Once you've got your salt into that, mix that in well and leave that to stand for a few minutes. Because what we want to happen now is we want the salt to start drawing the moisture out from those ingredients. And you will actually feel that now start to work immediately. So we'll leave that to soak just for a minute or two. And I'll talk about the other ingredient. The other ingredient is gram flour. Uh, it's a flour made from chickpeas. It's otherwise known as a chana dal flour or bisan. And uh, you can use any kind of lentil flour. Gram flour is particularly good and it's particularly good for vegan recipes because it is effectively it is the uh, protein binder for this dish so we're not using egg we are using a protein binder all right so the things that we've got left yet to go in are the spring onions the spice mix and the oil okay here we are a few minutes later and i've got a catch bowl and a sieve and I'm going to drop my mixture now through the sieve and you'll see that a lot of liquid is coming out of that. All right, now don't throw away this liquid that you're creating here. That's, those of you who are vegans will know the value of that. Um, it, it, it is an exceptionally good stock to use in some of your other vegetarian and vegan dishes. And if you can't use it straight away, you can freeze it in ice cubes and then add, add it as a little burst of flavour. In addition to spring onions, you can also use garlic in these if you like, or just add garlic salt in place of some of the salt in the recipe. So we give that a good old press down and allow some of the liquid to leach out of it. So I'm going to leave that for a while now and let that drip. Alright, that's drained for some while. I've given it another push through and we end up with a fair amount of, uh, of vegetable stock. Bear in mind when you do use that, that is rather salty. Um, so you can use that in place of salt in, and, and, and also you can use it to some extent in place of um, soya sauce in, in some of your stir fry recipes. Um, but beware that will degrade because it, it, it you know it is not fermented it's uh, it's just as it is and it will ferment 
if you leave it for any length of time. So the best thing to do is, if you're not using it straight away, is like I said, freeze it up in little ice cubes and then just add it to your dish. Right, what I'm going to do is drain that and plop that into there. And then all my other ingredients go in. So in goes my spice mix. I tend to grind that from whole spices myself, but it's, it's up to you how you do it. Uh, you can just use the individual powders. In goes my spring onions. In goes that. And then we kind of know where we are with regard to the texture of this dish. All right. I'm not adding the oil at this stage because I want to see how that works once I've got the gram flour into here. And I reckon for that amount, I'm going to need about a cup of gram flour. So let's try that. So into that goes a scant cup of gram flour. And we'll stir to mix. And you're going for a very, very stiff batter. Very stiff indeed. And that's about right. So a cup is about right. Because into that now, we're going to pour our oil and stir to mix. And that is just round about perfect. And mix that in well. So the next stage in this process is turning that into your burgers. Um, before we start, you need to set your oven at about 180 degrees Celsius, which is about 350 Fahrenheit, and bring that up to heat. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I've got a baking tray which I've lined with some uh, greaseproof paper, some baking paper. And I've got these nice little moulds. I mean, you can you, you can just shape it into burgers your, your, your usual way. But I've got these um, I've got these nice little moulds which I picked up on Amazon, and I'll stagger those so it gives them some spread out space. And into my moulds, I'm going to put I'm going to spread out my my mix. So into that, start with a spoon in each, shall we? And then spread it out evenly. All right, once we got to that, I'm going to use a little bit of spray oil and I've got these little push down things here, so whatever you're using as a burger press, or just shape them by hand. And then I'll push that down like that. Push it down to fill the mould. And like that. So there we are. What we're going for here is a burger that's still got some nice moisture in the middle even after it's cooked. Okay, so we're going after that lovely vegetable texture. Right, they're ready to go into the oven now. So I'm going to quickly remove the rings. I'll do that with the press top and lift that off. Yeah, they're a good little buy there. I quite like them. Okay. Um, and what we do now is they go into the oven. I'm going to try these in the oven for about 10 minutes to start with and see where we are from there. Before I do that, I'm giving them a little spray with oil. Which will help brown them up nicely. And into the oven they go. Okay, at the 10 minute stage, they're looking half done. I press down on them 
and they're not thoroughly cooked but what I want to do now is get another spray of oil on top of those to help them brown off nicely and they can go in the oven for another 10 minutes okay that's after 20 minutes cooking time and what I'm going to do I'm going to grab my bamboo skewer and just push it into the center of those and then draw it out to see if it comes out clean and it does so there you are it's come out completely clean and they're now ready all right I've toasted a couple of buns and just put one burger on each of the buns and I'm going to dress that first with a bit of ketchup if you're vegetarian you can put vegetarian cheese on it no problem but these ones I'm doing purely vegan so no cheese on these I'm putting a couple of peppers on for flavour these are really sweet these peppers and let's just get that down on top like that and that's the money shot so there it is that's the burger which I've cut open just to show you the inside of it and that's the texture and I'll just take a quick bite of that mmm it's really nice it's got um fairly loose texture but it's rather fleshy because of the way we treated the vegetables to start with and the spicing is absolutely amazing mm. that's really good delicious thanks for watching <laughs>